Hello everyone, in this video, I will guide you in a step-by-step -step manner to install Docker Desktop for Arc Linux. Docker Desktop is in an experimental stage for Arc, so expect some few issues here and there, but if I've done it, so can you. If you don't know what Docker is, I highly recommend that you look that up on the internet. If you're wondering why you need Docker Desktop, I have a link to the docs where you can read more about the features that Docker Desktop offers. Basically, Docker Desktop is a GUI for Docker. It has been available for Windows and Mac for some time now. And finally, Linux users have the chance to enjoy a nice GUI. Not all Linux users are big fans of the terminal. This should explain why I use one of the most beautiful Linux distros, Garuda Linux. Link in the description below. Okay, so the docs has almost everything that you need to install Docker Desktop. But there are some few gotchas which I will supplement with other resources. So let's over there. Before you begin, I highly recommend that you nuke your existing Docker installation. Why? Because Docker Desktop for Arc requires that you use the static binaries of the Docker client. So go ahead and sudo pacman rsu docker and let's begin. For the first step, you're going to install and configure the Linux KVM in Arc Linux. So first of all, let's head over here and we are going to follow the steps in here. So the first step is to check whether virtualization is enabled in PC and you can issue this command to ensure that you have virtualization enabled. If not, you would have to go back to your BIOS mode and enable it from there and then come back again and check it. So I have virtualization enabled so you can say I'm getting VXT for Intel. Um, yep, so if it's Intel, you should see this and if it's AMD, you should see AMD dash ring. And so I have virtualization enabled on the BIOS mode. Um, yep, so the next step is to search for the kernel model and I'm going to do that by copying this command and pasting it here and you can see I'm getting the same output so which means I have it there and the next is to install KMV for Arc Linux and I've already done that but then for proof sake let me just do it again and because this is using dash as my distro doesn't allow me to do partial installment so I'm just gonna do a full upgrade Okay, so I'm going to install that again and basically she just go through because I already have the whole thing installed. Uh, yep, so yes to all and it should take some few seconds. And boom, I'm done. So, yep, the next thing is I'm going to activate and launch the KVM in here. So. I'm going to copy this command and paste it in here and that should do it for it and the next thing is I've already done this so that's why I'm not getting this output right so the next is I'm going to sudo um, start the service and yep I've already done it so you shouldn't expect any output but then um, they use he used Vim in here but I would use Kate so um, I have Kate installed. I'll just use. Um, I only need to show you where these files are, and so um, Kate, where are you? And yep. So when Kate opens, uh, you realize that uh, um, you're being asked to scroll down to line eighty to ninety, and between eighty to ninety. Um, 80 to 90 yep you should see Linux socket group and I have it in here and it's already set to live and jump to 100 to 110 uh, 110 and so 100 to 110 as you see Linux sock read write permissions and it's already set here and so the last thing is to um, add myself to uh, add my account to the um, account the liberate account and so what I'm going to do is just go back and close the gate and just add myself and that's it so I can just reload and i'm in and i'm gonna exit from here so that should do it for it and then i can 
I have to reboot to apply the changes, right? So I can do this and yep. So let me start the server. So once you do that, you should have everything in there. And then we're going to create virtual machine. So um enable nested virtualization by entering the following command. And so I'm going to because I'm using Intel, I'll be copying this command and then I'll paste it in here. And that should do it. And then the second one should be this command. Okay, good. So far, so good. And um, to apply these changes, I need to echo this out. So basically, I'm just following the guide. There's nothing I'm changing out. Okay, it's a detailed guide. And once you go through it, you should have the Linux KVM installed. It's really nice guide uh, written by so Unisid. And so I'll paste the link to this um, guide into the description of the video. Make sure you check that out. And so, yeah, once you have that, the next step you're going to do is to um, install Quim, right? And for me, I did the full installation. So if I open my um, Pac my Pacman GUI and I type in Quim, you can see that I have everything installed, right? I have everything installed. I did the full installation, um, the Quim full, and I installed all the, the um, the option dependencies right so that's how that's how come i have everything installed you don't have to install everything um you can just go with the kremlin base and um that should do it for for this installation but i prefer to have a hassle free installation so i just went ahead and installed the whole thing so yeah go ahead and then do it if you want to do it from the terminal i think you can do it with the pseudo pacman um and then syu and then you go with kremlin and then you do dash four and that should do the same thing for you right so yeah that should do it i already have it so it should basically be the same thing yep and so that would be for the kremlin and the next thing we're going to do is install virtual machine manager good so i have that installed you don't need it per se but i wanted to make sure i have um, a working vm because that's one of the requirements for docker desktop so i have to make sure that i have a working um virtual machine that i can actually use and so that's why i went ahead and then installed um the linux virtual machine the virtual machine manager rather so yep so that's it right and yep so i just had to make sure everything was working i created a sample um virtual machine to test if everything's working you don't need it though but then um if you want to go with it sure why not and so yep the next thing on the step is to install the docker static client libraries and so i'm going to head over to the docs now um this is docker this is the docs so um, i'm going to scroll down to install docker and then for linux so for pin that here and um you need to you need to go through these steps because everything here is really important right first of all you're going to download this package it's going to be a zip file a compressed file and make sure you have you meet this requirement so you have to be on a 64-bit kernel and a cpu that's a port virtualization i have that you must have the kvm virtualization support which we've already done that with this guide and so um yep and then quimu must be a newer version right and i recommend upgrading to the latest version so that's what i have installed um system d i have it um i'm not using no i'm using kd and so i will need this one but then if you're going to use uh, no make sure you have the app indicator installed you must have at least four gig ram i have about 12. um enable configuring id mapping i think that one is already done i don't need to worry about that but i'll come back here again in another video so docker desktop runs um, a virtual machine so for more information see why that uh, door you know that already and so um these are for the supported platform ubuntu debian fedora but then an experimental package is available for active arc based distros docker desktop has well tested or verified installation so expect some few issues here and there i've already done this but then i just want to go again over them and because i'm using intel i'll go for this one and just copy it and paste it in here if i do ls mode i should get the same outputs right so yep yeah, shows i have kvm intel installed and it's loaded right so i'm good to go 
um permissions okay let me just do this and drop it in here so it belongs to roots um and i'm going to add myself to the user group so um do this and that should be it and so i'm going to head over to this the generic installation steps for Arc linux because that's what i'm using um i have that open up in here it says for non gnome desktop environment so though i'm not using gnome but i need to install this for some weird reason right so um, i have that installed already um Now that installed already so yeah you should just go through it quickly and so yes install docker desktop this is the the, the whole um, video this is the point of the whole video so first of all install the, the, the client libraries right? install the client libraries docker does not have an arc package repository binaries not included in the package must be installed manually before installing docker desktop so what is basically saying is um if you have docker installed on your machine right as in docker installed here Please go ahead and uninstall it, right? Uninstall it because um, the, doc, the Docker desktop already comes with it. It should come with Docker, the, the Docker engine installed, but then um, it requires a user static binary. So uninstall this one. If you've installed it, I haven't installed it, so make sure you uninstall it, right? And you can do you can uninstall it by sudo. If you don't have the GUI, you can just use sudo um, pacman. dash r s u docker and that will be it i don't have docker here so yeah so once you've uninstalled it then the next thing is you're going to install the client libraries on linux right so um i'm going to go over to that link in here and yeah so basically it is um, before attempting to install from the browser make sure your host machine meets the following requirements um this is for bait version 3 or higher of the linux kernel the latest version of the kernel available for a platform is recommended ip tables i have that um git i have it here ps executable i have that and i have all these so i'll just keep them um, if you don't just install them from your package manager uh, pacman install them and yeah so secure your environment as much as possible i'll come back to this in another video um you need to enable s linux or upper more if possible right um for now i just want to get it running and i'll come back it's very important that we do this so i'll come back to this in another video but for this video i just want to go ahead and then install the static binaries and then make sure docker desktop is working so download the 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 static binary of your choice and so let's go here and then i'm using a time 66 64 bit architecture so here and i'm going to download the latest version which will 20.9.10 Point ten should be the latest, and so going to grab that. If you prefer to do it, um, if you prefer to um, go with the ruleless one, you can also get that one from here. Yep. So I have the static binaries downloaded, so I don't have time installed. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come in here, and then here's the file I need. I'm going to extract this. To my desktop so open with arc and then extract it to my desktop somewhere i can work with so here good and then extract yep we have it here and the next thing we are going to do is move the the files here all these files into the slash the roots usl slash bin folder and so i'm just going to copy this command from here and you can see i'm one step outside the docker folder so copy anything in the docker folder slash so anything any file the star here represents any file in here so i'm copying all these files to my usl slash bin folder or directory so just hit enter here and that should do it so if i should go to my usl slash bin folder i should see them in there and i don't execute it so um in here i should have docker and you can see that all here right all the files that i just copied in here are here so that would be it that would be it for the docker installation and i need to start the service so i'm just going to do docker sudo docker and and that should work 
so i can test if the orchestra is running perfectly by just grabbing this hello world sample and that will be it for this installation so let me quickly tap to this uh, and then just run the hello world and yep so it's going to put the hello world um, image in here and then um, it should be quick enough yep any moment soon yep and so you can see hello world from docker meaning we now have docker installed and so we are good to go okay that has been a long one but then um, we are still on it so now that we are done with the static binaries we are going to go back again so we have the static binaries installed right the test step is to download the arc uh, the arc package from the release page and so i've already downloaded that but if you click here it should take you to this page and then just grab the arc experimental package and then download the file right i've already downloaded the cd into downloads and i should list my files in there and you can see i have docker desktop in here right so i'm just going to install it so docker desktop and then this is going to copy this from here and paste it in here and get the file yeah so this is the file that i just downloaded right so make sure you're in the location where you downloaded it to and then just um use the pacman upgrade command to upgrade uh, to install the package and it should go ahead and then pull in everything i need yep so that should do it for now and if it goes well you should have docker desktop installed docker desktop there you are good so we are up and running and you can check our docker compose version and it should give us the output version yep so i'm using version 2.10.2 .2, and the docker version should be um yep 20.10.9 good so i'm up and running and you can see here i have docker installed and i have no issues it took some time for it to start up so that is it for this video um but that is not all we need to secure it so um i'd want to start docker desktop anytime i launch my machine because i'll be using docker desktop like almost every now and then so i'm just going to enable it and then enter it in here and that should do it right good so this should be the steps for installing docker desktop i hope you found this video helpful um yep so if you have make sure you like this video if you have any issues please reach out to me in the comments and um if you don't like it let me know what you don't like about it um yeah so i'll see you in the next video make sure you subscribe to this channel because there's more of this goodies and i'll be uploading videos every now and then so make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss any of my uploads so this is me signing out um enjoy the rest of the day see you in the next video bye